Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. We are heading to uh, Summoner and Baker. Apparently, uh, for a 910H. Apparently, uh, let's say it might. Their asses that call out the crime scene unit. Uh, this took place about 45 minutes ago. So, we're going to go check it out. See if it uh, might be a homicide or just might be natural causes. Um, they have to determinate that. Uh, yeah, don't mean this guy. So we're gonna go check this out. Keep the family in prayers. Definitely keep the family in prayers. Everyone, and some of this loved one. find out, um, usually, you know, if it's a crime scene, uh, they'll put tape up and stuff like that. They did ask the, uh, the railroad company to, uh, to stop all trains. Don't know where the person is located at. Summer in Baker. Oh yeah, right here. Karen is gonna be on the other side. Right next to the homeless shelter. Apparently, guys, it's not good. Yeah, I'm not going to zoom in or all the way or anything like that. Apparently, we do have, I think it is a homeless person. I don't think it's uh, any type of uh, uh, homicide or anything like that. Um, it seems like he, he did fall out. Um, 
for one reason is that like his arm is like like laid out one of us on the train tracks Hanging on around here. I think it's best to go on the other side uh, because you can really see uh, the person. And I don't want to show that at all. Pretty much, uh, we do have a deceased body right here. Uh, apparently, when Kate was saying uh, that, that there was two RPs discovered, uh, discovered and have a car, uh, well, basically saying that he had a cardiac arrest. So, yeah, what's up? How you doing, my brother? You know what happened over here? Yeah. Guy on the tracks, man. Well, it was, uh, they said that he was in a cardiac arrest or something like that. Yeah, he was dead? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think a train ran over because he was laying across the tracks. That's what I'm saying. It looked like... Yeah, guys. Uh, apparently, they did cover the um, the person up. Apparently, this is going to be uh, pretty much a homicide, everyone. Through witnesses around here. Uh, it's not good. Um, apparently, they are looking uh, for any type of evidence. So far, it's been going on for an hour here. Um, so far, no examiner here on uh, corner, anybody like that. Um, homicide detectives, they haven't got here yet. I'm pretty, um, they might still be tied up from last night. But they'll be here shortly. And this is on uh, Sumner and Baker, right, right, right across from King Street in Sumner. Um, he's about 40 years old. Don't know the race or anything like that. Should I ask him? But I didn't. Um, apparently, he's about 40 years old. Um, he's a real quiet guy. Um, he said he doesn't drink or do drugs or anything like that. He's just a very quiet guy. Um, apparently, um, we don't know what happened. But they were, they're, they're going to continue doing an investigation here. But um, when they do a press release from Bakersfield, and they probably will. Um, this is a homicide. Yeah, the details um, pretty much leads to that. And we do have Santa Fe um, rafters here with Bakersfield PD. trains on their way and I bet you this train um, probably has been robbed by, by sitting. They did shut their, the railroad company down because um, his, his, uh, his arm is laying over onto the train track on the first lane well first track you know when I see trains like this it just yeah I want to film them so anyways, that's what took place here, guys. We have a homicide here. Um, apparently, they gotta figure out what took place here. But I'm gonna shut down from here. I'm gonna get home, um, let my dogs out, and use the restroom myself. And then when I wanna come out and play for a while. Um, until then, I'll see you, see you, see you on the next one, everyone. For sure.